What is going on, good people of YouTube? It is me, Chavez, back with another prize picks video for you. Today is Tuesday, April 25th, 2023, and we're talking NBA player props over on prize picks. As always, I hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits. We're going to kick things off with a recap over yesterday's plays and then dive right into the prize picks board. But before we do that, I just want to give a quick shout out to a very cool sub and uh, something I've been trying to work into each video and honestly it just keeps slipping my mind but it didn't today so big shout out to Kenny Doherty for dropping a very cool super thanks uh, last week actually so I'm a little behind on this one but it's the channel's first super chat thank you so much and super chat is just another excuse me super thanks is just another way to say thank you to the channel and support the channel so Thank you, Kenny Doherty, for uh, dropping that super thanks. Really, really appreciate it. Um, number two, the channel hit 4,000 subs yesterday, so I'm extremely happy, extremely excited about that. And honestly, obviously, none of this could be possible without uh, the subscribers and the viewers and, and all the comments and helping these channels, well, helping this channel get bigger, but also just helping the content reach new viewers every single day. Every time you leave a comment or leave a like, uh, you click a notification icon, all that, all those things really contribute into the channel, you know, reaching new, uh, a newer and broader audience. So thank you also very much for helping the channel grow and grow and grow. And then uh, lastly, this uh, last video we did yesterday posted a hundred likes and that's the first time video on my channel to actually hit a hundred likes, over 3000 views, 100 likes, pretty good day yesterday for, uh, you know, video analytics. But again, Thank you all so much for the support. Thank you all so much for uh, continuing to uh, come back to the channel and uh, just check these videos out. It truly means a ton. So with that being said and that out of the way, now let us finally move into our plays from yesterday. All right, yesterday sucked. That's it. It just was not a good day yesterday. Man, one and three on the day. Struess was the only prop that came through. We had Ja not show up in the first half, and then we had LeBron do LeBron things in the first half. He cleared his PRA. For the full game, he cleared his PRA. The overtime did not help. Anthony Davis being MIA that game did not help because it just put more of the it just put more of the scoring and more of the work, you know, workload on LeBron James. So it just wasn't our day yesterday. Um, if you care, Duncan Robinson hit his point prop, even though that wasn't an actual point prop. It never got released on the board, although I wish it had because it was eight and a half and he finished the game with nine points. Jimmy Butler took that game over, so really didn't matter uh, what anybody else did. Jimmy Butler just dominated that game and, and what it's what probably is going to be uh, what go what's going to go down as you know one of the greatest playoff performances in NBA history. That was that was insane. So, in terms of our picks yesterday, not uh, not the greatest performance in NBA history by any means. But today we're looking to bounce back. I got three plays today that I want to share with you and why I like them. So, without further delay, we're going to transition back over to the Prize Picks board and talk about the plays for today. All right, so the first player that I want to talk about in today's video is going to be Bogdan Bogdanovich. Now, this is a guy that I've gone to two times in this series, and he's cleared his point prop. First point prop was 11 and a half, and that was way too low. Second point prop was at 12 and a half. Again, that was way too low. Now we see his points a little bit more inflated due to DeJounte Murray not being in the lineup today. So if you aren't aware, DeJounte Murray's been suspended for game five because he made a contact with an official at the end of game four. So he is not playing in today's game, which means you'll have bigger roles for guys like DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, Bogdan Bogdanovich, even Sadiq Bey, who I'm very interested in, but his props are not yet on the board. So let's talk about Bogdan Bogdanovich because he's in a position to where he should be starting. Projected lineups have him in the lineup today as a starter. Uh, when we head on over to props.cash, I'll pull up some game logs with and without DeJounte Murray. But just to preface all that, the three props that I'm very interested in from him today are going to be his fantasy score, it's going to be his points, and then also going to be his points, and uh, points rebounds, and assists. Um, I really believe that he can hit his points, rebounds, and assists in points alone. He's a sharpshooter. He gets on hot streaks, and man, he can't miss once he, once he gets going. So I like these three props, but for today's video, I want to talk about his point prop 
because I feel like everything starts with his point prop. If you're going to go after his fantasy score, he's not getting 27 fantasy points, 26.6 fantasy points without scoring points. So let's head on over to props.cash and let's dig into Bogdan Bogdanovich's 16 and a half point prop. All right, so pulling up the last 10 games for Bogdanovich, we can see that he's only hit this prop in two out of his last 10. And now this game log looks a little different because I told you that I picked him two times before and he went over his point prop. But in those games, his points were low, 11 and a half, 12 and a half. Now his point prop has been elevated to 16 and a half. So it's gonna show that he's only hit 16, 16 and a half plus two out of his last 10 games. But he's actually hit his point prop two games in this series but this is with DeJounte Murray on the floor now DeJounte Murray soaks up a ton of usage we all know that let's go ahead and take DeJounte Murray out of this lineup and let's see what this looks like now so we see a lot more green going on here and we see Bogdanovich averaging roughly 19 to 20 points in those 10 games five and in those five and ten games I should say now the really cool thing about this is his minutes uh his minutes are, are pretty steady which you know you expect them to be however man his field goal attempts are much stronger and his three point volume is so high so look at these numbers now you're averaging eight eight over his last 10 10 three point attempts over his last five 14 field goal attempts over his last five and ten games all right 8, 10, 14. Let's take Murray back out of the lineup and let's look at these numbers again. Way down. We talked about 14 here, below 10, and then we talked about 8, or uh, we talked about, uh, you know, 10 three-point attempts over his last five, six. So volume is super, super low with Murray in, obviously when Murray's out. You expect a, a larger workload, a larger role, more usage for Bogdanovich. He's going to shoot a lot of threes today. I expect him to make most of them. 16 and a half to me feels like a prop that he can hit by halftime if he's involved in the offense and if he if he's feeling it. Is it enough for him? It Will he do enough for the Hawks to beat the, the Celtics and avoid elimination? I don't know. All I know is... I'm taking the over on his points, and because I like his points so much, I mentioned over on the prize picks board, you could also look into his fantasy score, you could also look into his PRA. If you wanted to, you could take these three props and create three different you know, slips, whether they were two pick powers or three pick powers, or however you want to do it. If you are that confident in Bogdanovich's ceiling today, you could take each one of these props, take the over, and then pair these with another prop and try to leverage what you think is going to be a larger role and just a high ceiling you know position for him today so in this video we're talking about his points i like the over 16 and a half for bogdan bogdanovich today versus the boston celtics all right and for our second player prop on the board i want to talk about evika zubak 18 and a half points and rebounds. Now, originally I liked his PRA. I didn't realize that his points and rebounds were also set to 18 and a half. And so the way I'm looking at this is if we take the PRA, it gives him more opportunity to go over 18 and a half. But if we just settle for the 18 and a half, he has to hit 19 in just points and rebounds. It's very possible for a player to get right at the hook and then they dish an assist and then they go over. But in this video, we're going to talk about the under on Evika Zubak's 18 and a half points and rebounds. We're going to head on over to props.cash. I'm going to share with you a couple of reasons why I like this play. Let's go. All right, so heading on over to props.cash, pulling up the last 10 games for Evika Zubak. We're really, really just going to focus on the playoffs here. So we're going to see this, this crazy trend down, downward. So 27 points and rebounds in game number one, and that's with Kawhi Leonard. Game number two also was with Kawhi Leonard, but only put up 14 points and rebounds, right? And I thought that was the biggest difference in what happened between game one and game three, four, five, you know? What's going on here? And I thought maybe Kawhi Leonard's absence had a lot to do with it, but Kawhi Leonard was present for the first two games of that series. And one of the games, Ibika Zubak had a great game, and the next game he didn't have a great game, and in the next game he didn't have another great game, and so forth and so forth. And so, 
what I'm looking at here is this trend where he's kind of getting phased out of the offense. Now, the best opportunity he has to hit this prop is in quarters one and three because in quarters one and three is where he sees the most production. We're going to break this down by the quarter. So quarter number one, we can see Vika Zubak comes out, puts up modest points and rebounds in these, in these past four games. Quarter number two, we can see that he's kind of non-existent. Aside from that very first game, he doesn't do a whole lot in quarter number three or quarter number two. So quarter number three is where he comes out and you see a big increase in production. So he's active. He's starting, he's starting the third quarter. He's scoring points. He's grabbing rebounds, putbacks. Where it gets a little scary is when he misses his own shot. He grabs the rebound, misses his own shot. That kind of like ping pong thing back and forth really will increase your PRA and your points and rebounds very quickly. And that's kind of what, you know, you hold your breath on when you pick these types of props is that you don't have a player that's just playing volleyball out there. But after the third quarter, Zubox, it, Zubox is non-existent. Zubox is non-existent in this game. He has not recorded a stat in the fourth quarter over the last three games. And that is because Ty Lue likes to run small. If he continues to run the small lineup out there in the fourth quarter, Zubox is out. He's done. And it's Plumlee in there or Covington or whoever they want to put in there, but it's not Evika Zubox. So with all that being said, we're looking at a player's minutes de decline over the course of the game, lim limiting his production. And much like we talked about Max Struess yesterday, who also doesn't see time in the fourth quarter, we're talking about a player who has to hit their player prop in basically three quarters, two and a half quarters. Do you think Evika Zubox can hit 18 and a half plus points and rebounds in two and a half quarters, three quarters. For me, the answer is no. And that's why I'm gonna go with the under on this one. All right, and for play number three, we're heading on over to the Denver and Timberwolves game. Well, Minnesota and Denver game. I don't know why I said it in that way. We're gonna talk about Rudy Gobert and the point rebounds and assists prop for him today is set to 27 and a half. I like the over on this one. I really do. We're going to head back to props.cash and I'll share with you why. All right, so let's pull up this playoff game log for Rudy Gobert. And we can see that in five playoff games this season, he's gone over this line and it's very consistent. It's like 31 and up. No higher than 33, no lower than 31, except for that first game back from his suspension. So remember, he you know, punched Kyle Anderson and, and didn't play the next game. But after that game of him coming back and kind of being worked back into the offense, Rudy Gobert has been so consistent. 31 PRA over his last three games, basically here. 28.3 versus Denver when you factor in this very, very low game. So this game is bringing his averages down. Now, the reason I like this is for all the talk about him versus Jokic and how Jokic is, you know, going to dominate in all these things which yes Jokic is a great player but Rudy Gobert is holding his own he's averaging over 30 minutes in those three games you know after that first game where he was kind of limited in his minutes the, the next three games he's averaging well over 30 minutes per game that's that's you know positive number one he's also averaging double digit shot attempts in each game so most of these shots are coming at the rim lobs putbacks dunks things like that but these are like high percentage shots here so and then his points double digit points so double digit shot attempts double digit points rebounds have been on the up we can see that his points have been on a slight decline but that's okay because his rebounds are up so they kind of like they kind of compensate right one for the other one assists you know not a whole lot of assists there but he is capable of dishing out two three a game now the foul trouble is what you think, oh man, he's gonna get in foul trouble because Jokic is such a beast. He stayed out of foul trouble pretty much. I mean, six fouls in that, you know, in, in the game before on the 21st, obviously you don't want to see that, but four, five, and four, the other three games. I mean, that's kind of what you would expect for a center to have against a, a player like Jokic. So I'm not too concerned with the foul trouble. And we can even see that in that game where he did foul out on the 21st, man he still he still had 31 pra he fouled out the game so 
I like this. I don't know if Rudy Gobert was on your radar today. I don't know if people look at him. Everybody's very focused on Anthony Edwards, and I am too. He's going to be in a few of my slips as well. But Rudy Gobert is kind of like quietly doing his thing, and really nobody's talking about that. I think we got a good opportunity here to take an over on a player that has been, you know, pretty much, you know, solid, pretty solid through this series. And it's probably going to do it one more time, you know, in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a, this elimination game. So give me the over. Rudy Gobert, 27 and a half PRA versus the Denver Nuggets. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's player prop video over on Prize Picks. Let's quickly recap these three plays. Bogdan Bogdanovich over 16 and a half points. Ivica Zubak under 18 and a half points and rebounds. And then Rudy Gobert over 27 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. I mentioned how I really like the spot for Bogdan Bogdanovich, and you can leverage his role, his increased usage, his new starting role today uh, with his points, his PRA, and his fantasy score. You can separate those three into three different slips and build around those, preferably two-man powers or three-man powers. Two men's are more profitable. Three men or three-pick powers, not as profitable as the two-pick powers. So... There you have it. Those are our three picks for the day. Drop a comment below letting me know what you think about this prize picks board. Who do you have your eyes on? And also, what do you think about these three player props we talked about in today's video? And as always, thank you all so much for the continued support, the likes, the subs, the comments. It truly helps this channel grow every single day. Obviously, since we're at 4,000 subs and we're now marching into hitting 5,000 subs. Thank you all so much. Best of luck to you all today. If you tell any of these plays, drop a comment below letting me know. And until tomorrow's playoff NBA prize picks player prop video, Chavez is.